If I didn't stop, I'd be dead in six months. I would have drank myself to death. I would have killed myself in a car accident. I would have shot myself. The times that I'd sat with my gun in my mouth. Asking God for the courage to help me kill myself. And at the same time begging for him to help me to live. The single hardest thing I have to talk about in my recovery is this. Because I believe genuinely that this life is a gift and that I'm here for a purpose. But I'm talking about this fact because I want to illustrate the incredible pain, the intensity of the pain that addicts and alcoholics go through. I'm fortunate that I get to work every day with some amazing people that are working their recovery really hard. And I also get to see people new in recovery struggling or relapsing and collapsing and trying to start again. And unfortunately, there are also times where we lose people to the disease. And I've seen some posts lately on social media and hearing people talk about addiction and saying things along the lines of, you know, people who drink very heavily are too far gone to save or don't care or that the, the, the insaneest one is that um, this is a, it's a matter of low self-esteem. Anyone who knows addiction and knows addicts or is, is working with addiction, low self-esteem may be a byproduct of our addiction and the damage that we've caused in our lives. Low self-esteem is not a cause for addiction. What I wanted to share today and hopefully bring a little bit of understanding to those people that have addicts in their lives or just want to know a little bit more is that the pain and this is not a justification for using or for drinking. This is just telling you frankly from an addict or an alcoholic. I've been sober for 12 years. I drank from the age of nine till I was 36. At the end, I was drinking about 20 drafts a day and I was killing myself. If I didn't stop drinking, I would have wiped myself out in a car accident, shot myself or, or just drunk myself to death. The pain that we run from, the trauma, I believe and I've seen through my, my experience and my working with addicts for the past 12 years is that behind addiction is trauma and we each have our own trauma. That trauma is so powerful, so overwhelming, so horrendous that we would rather slowly kill ourselves than face it. That we would drink, we use drugs and destroy our lives rather than face that pain and that trauma. That is how powerful it is. Addiction is a disease. It's not a fault of character. It's not a weakness of character. It is being completely powerless, completely overwhelmed, and not really knowing what to do. You can be in a treatment program, working the steps, and starting to get sober. But when those voices and those demons come for you, that pain is so terrifying and so overwhelming that you will want to destroy yourself to stop it. That is how serious it is. This is why addicts and alcoholics need our help and our understanding. And I'm not saying that if someone is in your life and is causing damage and destruction that you should keep them in your life. Because we're all ultimately responsible for our lives. But what I would like to see is a little bit more empathy and understanding for addicts in this disease of addiction. 
I think I was lucky that at the right time and at the right place, someone reached out. I had many people reaching out to help me over the years and I didn't take that hand. And I got very early on the understanding that I have to live my life just for today. I got into an incredible rehab center. I got an incredible counselor, Dan Wolf, who is just, he's brutal, 100% pure honesty. And the lessons that he's taught me, I've built my life on. And Houghton House have been there, I'm there twice a week, and it is the most amazing thing in helping me build my recovery. But I see the pain all the time of those that are fighting this battle. And it's a battle that never ends. Until you can start to understand who is in control and fight and get that control back. It took me 10 years of hard, honest work to slowly start to get a deep and profound understanding and slowly start to cultivate self-love. Maybe that's time. That's something for another video. I just wanted to make this today to explain to people. Just understand that people that are willing to destroy themselves and their lives are not doing it for the fun of it. When you cause this amount of pain and trauma and destruction to yourself and to your loved ones, as an alcoholic or an addict, you are terrified and are running from something so powerful that you don't know what to do it's not a fault of it's not a it's not a disease is not a fault of character and it's not a, a lack of self-esteem self-worth or self-belief that puts us there that's a byproduct it's blatant pure fear of facing the pain that we have to face in order to get our lives back and unless you've experienced it I'm afraid you won't know it. You may come close, but unless you've experienced that pain, the willingness to die, to avoid facing pain, the pain is, it's not a weakness of character. That pain is just that powerful. So thank you guys. Please, I implore you if you, if you got something out of this video and you know someone that is suffering and in pain, please share this with them. And I'm not asking you to damage yourself for an addict or to have someone in your life that is causing pain and destruction as an addict or an alcoholic to give them more leeway or more. Just I'm asking just I wanted to just share this for a little bit more understanding. Um, you need to protect yourself because the truth is while we're using and while we're drinking and or using we will do anything to get what we, we want to avoid that pain. We will destroy, we will break, we will lie, we will steal, we will cheat. And I've done all of those. The damage that I caused my family was... And I'm very grateful that they're here to love me still. So protect yourselves and keep yourselves safe. But I hope that this has given you some little greater amount of, um, of understanding. I'm not going to edit this video. It's nine minutes. I'm going to put it out there. And I hope the message is, is powerful enough and, and you guys can take some value on it. Thank you for watching, guys. I love you all. Oos.